let me introduce you to my temporary home. This is the uh, this is the Hampton Inn here in Plymouth, Massachusetts, right off exit seven. Um, it is a very decent hotel. It has a pool. It has a uh, hot tub. Free Wi-Fi, which is okay for browsing, but if you're a YouTube hound like I am, it sucks. This is the bathroom. As you can see, it's kind of messy because the uh, housekeeping did not come in today, but it's pretty nice. Decent tub, decent water pressure. Um, coffee maker, free coffee, hair dryer. If you've been in a hotel before, you've been in similar situations. That's the bathroom. Now. Here, I've had a, since I got here, I've had a fridge put in this room and a microwave because, uh, you know, I need a fridge. I'm not going to show you it's in there because it's pretty old. Just got to clean it. Dirty laundry. Uh, in this room are two queen size beds, which are fairly comfortable. The blankets and pillows are very comfortable, but if you ask me, the mattresses could be a little bit firmer. Uh, it's a 32 inch Philips television set, uh, 720p high definition. It swivels and the base is not, you know, mounted to the friggin' Uh, table so you can swivel it a lot more than you would originally think Now over here is my workspace or my office um, As you can see I keep it pretty tidy at least try to so let's see you have the bar you have the movie selection You have the gaming system and you got the laptop cool and of course a phone um, Over here we have the nightstand where most people keep the Bible. Let's see if there's a Bible in here. There is oh wait What's that? Oh, I don't know Maybe somebody left that here before me. Um, phone, which is now cracked, temporary phone. Um, alarm clock, which has some pretty good sound quality, but I never use it because I'm using this. Now, as you can see, what's this little cable running here? Well, this laptop is okay for what, it, what, it, what its price point is and all that jazz, but the sound quality sucks. Now, this has about 25 channels, including HBO, but there's never anything on. So I have run an HDMI cable to the back of the television set and have finagled away going into the submenus to switch to the inputs, which I actually asked them if that was possible, and they said it. They said it wasn't. So I figured out a way. Um, the picture quality is reset every time you turn the TV on or off. So even though I go in there and mess with the color and brightness to make it to my liking, it keeps getting reset. So I'm just going to use my laptop from now on. Now. You're gonna love this. The speakers are on the back of this television set. So I, I sleep in this bed. This one is just for general use for friends or if my sister wants to sleep in here. So having the speakers that way not only is stupid, but the next door neighbors are gonna, you know, hate me after a while. I'm gonna be in this hotel room until July 1st, so what the hell. So what I have done is I've taken the sole remaining piece of technology that I own, because uh, everything else is gone. This is your standard um, portable radio. Um, I forget who makes it. Bought it off Amazon for 12 bucks. The sound quality is pretty decent, but it's one of those things where, if at certain frequencies, the plastic or the tin here rattles. I can't stand that, so I'm, I'm trying my best to get rid of that. But it has two things I like about it one, an SD card input, and an audio in, a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, and 3.5 millimeter audio in. So, what I have done. So I've run the cable to the back of the television here where it has an audio output, which is a headphone jack. Now you're saying, well, this is a uh, this is battery-powered device, Smith. Well, yes, and it charges via USB. So what I've also done is plugged the charging cable into the USB of the television set, and voila, it charges. So sound quality is significantly improved. It has much more refinedness to it, and it's directed toward me and not the goddamn neighbors next door. So this is it. This is where I've been staying since uh, the fire, so since May, since Memorial, since the day after Memorial Day. Um, a lot of you have asked me where I've been staying, so that's where I've been staying. Oh yeah, air conditioner, awesome. And then this over here is my view. Come on, camera, balance that out. There you go. So not a horrible place to stay. Um, let's see, we got a Bertucci's, we got a top. Uh, you know, I'm gonna zoom in here. See if we can. Yeah, we can. We have a Bertucci's, we have a Taco Bell, we have a Chili's, and way over there we have a TGI Friday's, and then we have the Plymouth Shopping Complex, which consists of Walmart, Best Buy, Dick's Sporting Goods, um, and a whole bunch of other stores, um, including a GameStop. So, again, not a bad location. So, this is where I've been staying. Um, 
yeah, I've pretty much made this my room in the sense that, you know, I have my media center here and I can use my television to do what I want. Now, another thing I purchased, um, if we get out of the movie here, is a gaming pad. So, I bought the wireless controller, which I actually already had, Jesus, already had, but unfortunately it's gone, so I had to buy a new one. Um, so what I can do, what that allows me to do, is see, is I'm using this as a separate monitor. I can actually play my games from my bed, which is pretty cool. I think um, I will buy an early replacement. I was going to wait until um, until we move into the, the house and get insurance money, but I might buy a wireless keyboard so I can surf the web and whatnot from the bed. So anyway, this is uh, BSG Trek Fan 88 here. If you have any questions about this hotel room, where I'm staying, you know, let me know. Um, I'm pretty bored when I'm not working. Uh, working keeps me busy, especially because it's an hour to get to work and back. But, um, you know, the, the reason I'm bored is the internet is fine for general web browsing, but if I want to, let's say, download something from net or stream something from Netflix, download something, or upload something to YouTube, it takes for forever and a day. Um, upload speed was less than a, less than a megabyte a second. So anyway, this is BSG Trek Fan 88 here. Uh, just a quick video. I will be doing a review um, on a couple of things coming up. For instance, this Asus netbook. Probably I'll be doing that tomorrow, as well as my Logitech 1080p webcam. Um, so yeah. Anyway.